السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته صباح الخير يرجع اطفاء السماعات رجاء من يملك لا تقدر تسوي سماعات تسوي المايكات العفو مو سماعات المايكات من يملك اكو ميوت ميوت اول اوكي سويت ميوت اول اني وباقي استاذ احمد تعالي فقط اني راح اوكي سو جود مورنينج ايفربودي لايك كوليجز دكتورز فريندز اتس ريلي ان اونر لايك تو برزنت سمثينغ ذا اي ثينك that really we miss or a little bit but teachers somehow have a problem with academic writing or students even face like a real obstacles difficulties uh, to to deal with the academic writing so uh, to start it first like the this lecture or this presentation gonna be about the scientific of academic the significance of academic writing for teachers and uh, students prepare by Ahmali. So I'm a university teacher, IELTS TOEFL trainer. Is it clear? It wasn't clear. Okay, so, so now my voice is clear. Are you listening to me? Yeah, 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 I'm listening. So it's okay now? It's okay? It's okay now? Hello? Mr. Ahmed, your voice is clear. Okay, okay. Thank you. So, yeah. So, uh, so as mentioned earlier, like the academic writing is really important for all teachers for like doing research and try like maybe to to pass an exams in order like to apply for a phd master degree wherever sometimes like immigrating so academic writing uh, it's really different from the spoken language and even from the the normal writing like we face in the high schools or even in the bachelor degree so academic writing is a clear concise focused structure it need to be focused need to be kind of strict so and it should be backed up supported with the logical ideas so in order to make the readers understand well so it's not just academic writing is not just a matter of fact that it's just the uh, grammar or the words lexical things but also it's needed like it needs a planning and preparing and well organizing i mean the overall shape so it has a formal tone style but it doesn't mean that it need to be complex so it's according to the situation and context academic essay for toefl ielts report it depends on the context so each subject discipline will have certain writing conventions, certain rules. The rules that we write academic writing is different to write article. The one that we write article, research, is different to write dissertation for a master's degree. Or it's different also from the dissertation for PhD. So the, the thing that we should put in mind is that you have to depend on the uh, subject and you have to focus on the subject. What what are you writing for? Are you writing for real, former, academic thing? Or you are writing for, the, as we can say, sub-academic, class academic things? We just want to, we want to take facts, real facts about publishing in, in the world, like around the world. So China to, like takes the top for publishing. 426,000 publishing this is according to 2006 16 sorry so Iraq here 
67 uh, on the publish uh, the publishing in, in in Iraq or published books documentations like it gonna be uh, counted as like thousand two hundred something so you see the big difference between us on the on the world and this is it because I think that like even the students like who graduated from high school they don't know even what's academic writing or writing so when they come to the bachelor degree they don't involve with the high or let's say acceptable or the standard uh, let's say level of the writing so we are a little bit back so uh, we are not like in the same level on the same level with the with the people outside so <coughs> sorry you see the big difference between us and the uh, the rest of the world so for for two demanded academic tasks these uh, like these days we get faced with uh, either like writing research or going for IELTS TOEFL academic essay and الوضع حاليا اللي متطلب بالاكاديميك رايتنج للطلاب العراقيين للاساتذه اما للبحوث او انه يروحون مع الايلتس والتوفل وراح يواجهون اكاديميك اسي بحد المتطلبات بالرايتنج سو اكاديميك رايتنج وركس فور ذا ريك ستودنتس اور تيشرز ان ذيس بوست سايتس اوكي سو فور ذا اكاديميك اسي which is not the same level uh, like the writing oh, research sorry. dissertations or theses so it's kind of difficult as i mentioned earlier كما يعني وضحت في البدايه انه لازم تعتمد على الموضوع اللي انت متوجه له تكتب له يعني مو كلهن تنطبق كل القواعد عليه نفس الشيء الجرامر اللكسيكال تشويس ويفر the first thing that we should focus in on that in, in toefl ielts to get band 9 or 8, 7, 6 wherever you have you have certain rules to follow you have certain structure to follow you have certain steps to follow it's not uh, random things it's not ha uh, like uh, things you, you you write everything and you can't get the mark this is not the point the problem يعني ندرس العراق الطلبه العراقيين للتوفل او نحضرهم للتوفل ولا المشكله اللي اواجهها انه يكتبون هوايه بدون آه بدون تدقيق او اتباع الخطوات وهذا اكبر خطا يعني متعودين على شغله انه يكتب هوايه حصل درجه ما يكتب هوايه ما حصل درجه هو هذا خطا the examiners of TOEFL IELTS they don't want you to write a lot of course that the uh, in IELTS they want, they want like 300 250 words and in TOEFL they need 300 to 350 words of course this is the demanded things but it's not a matter of how much you write it's the matter how how you apply the techniques or the the rules or the uh, like organized things in in your writing so they focus on task achievement task achievement if you want to get a higher like a uh, degree in the or mark in the in the in the test task achievement task achievement you have you should have uh, you should have in your academic essay four paragraphs at least لازم عندك بال بالاسي اربع باراجرافات انتروداكشن بادي تو باراجرافس اند كونكلوجن اللي هو اخر باراجراف اذا ذن مسويهن يو ستارت فروم ذا باند 7 تبدا يبدا تقييمك من uh, من درجه 7 او فوق كوهيرنس اند كوهيجن سو لينكينج ووردز لازم اكو لينكينج ووردز هاوفر ويفر لازم الافكار مالتك مترابطه تستخدم لينكينج ووردز اللي معروفه however wherever uh, on the besides on the other hand هذن الكلمات تسلسل الافكار مرتب always start general to specific general to specific the introduction is gonna be all general okay so the first paragraph of the academic essay by, uh, by the way let me mention something academic essay in TOEFL and in IELTS the same but the only difference the number of the words in TOEFL they need more words in IELTS they need the demanded one like 250 to 300 is okay but for TOEFL 300 to 350 so that's the structure of the academic essays is the same in to for TOEFL and IELTS lexical resources if let's say 
if your topic is about like uh, writing research you have to choose words lexical things lexical items related to the topic okay so i don't i don't want to like see words which is away from the topic too much away from or too far from the topic so this is the thing the the last thing is the grammar so the grammar is really important they focus mainly on five type of sentences complex sentences they need to see complex sentences in your academic essay they need to see compound sentences they need to see passive sentences they need to see if clause sentences they need to see question sentences question sentences you are allowed to use it only in introduction because it's not really uh, like acceptable to be used wherever so it is strategic so writing academic essay in toy for for toy for or aisles it's strategic so if you able if you are able to like to get these they call tclg TCLG which is task achievement لازم عندك الفورما كاملة أربع باراجرافات coherence and cohesion مترابطة الأفكار و linking words lexical resources كلمات خاصة بالموضوع أو السؤال grammar as I mentioned like these type of sentences so these are things to 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 put in mind if you have to get uh, uh, task achievement for paragraphs coherent cohesion ideas on logical من تكتب task من تكتب essay academic essay الأفكار لازم منطقية don't put imaginations like imagination things stories make it logical so I can't believe it the examiner the reader صوت واضح العفو صوت واضح and linking words lexical resources of course you can use collocation collocations but not that much but there are like there there are like some expressions formal expressions or acceptable expressions we can use it for writing uh, like topic specific vocabulary as mentioned الموضوع عن الرسير حاول تختار كلمات تناسب الموضوع and the phrasal verbs the phrasal verbs because it like these phrasal verbs has a strong meaning reflects a strong uh, uh, idea or meaning so you can use it grammatical range and the grammatical accuracy grammatical range هو التنوع تنوع بالجمل اللي تستخدمها don't use always simple sentences i play football i go to the mar uh, to the market i watch tv let's do the النمط الدائمي simple sentences لان راح يسوي routine things try to vary passive voice complex sentences compound sentences okay this is this is uh, uh, an academic essay of band 9 hi essay namudaj essay so this is the, uh, the, uh, the introduction sorry this is the body two paragraphs this is the conclusion okay so here we are using uh, linking words you should start general and the specific general and the specific general and the specific another 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 thing that we should focus in and on بالبدي باراجراف هنا بالباراجرافات الثانية لازم بالبدي لازم كل باراجراف بفكرة واحدة حتى يكون الأكاديمي الإسي مالتك قوية ومؤثرة. So, the, this section I talked about I talked about the the people who deal with academic writing for IELTS on TOEFL. The thing I am going I'm moving on for is the research. Look, good. so academic writing is not just a writing. I mean, it's not just to, to start writing, that's it. But you need also a planning. So planning for your research is really a good, uh, let's say, uh, deal to start with. 
before you start writing. So I took some, uh, I uh, like to say, reply, reply, sorry, from the from the experts for, for, for the research. So they said, from not taking to publish, uh, to publishing to teaching, language is the tool that gives a sense of, uh, to scientific activity. Whatever scientists do or observe, everything they come to know or to hypothesize is the creation of the language. So what, what you want to write in your research? You, you cannot... Sorry, can you mute your voices, please? Uh, everything you want to present in your research thank you very much thank you sorry about that so you cannot present your ideas your planning your preparation for your research without a language of course so your language needs to be perfect from grammar, lexical choices, wherever, all these kind of things. So we start from planning and preparing. Give yourself time. This is like uh, the, this slide I'm, uh, or these slides, upcoming slides I'm talking about if you are going to publish your research in a Scopus high standard, uh, let's say, journals. So we need to focus on these. So give yourself time to plan and write your uh, manuscript, choose an appropriate journal, preferably with a high impact factor. So try like to take it step by step. If you publish in a lower impact factor, or, uh, so try like the next time to, to publish in a high impact factor, then that's corpus. So take it step by step. Don't jump from zero to 10. This is not a, like, because, because you will face a lot of difficulties, obstacles. The first step, which is I face with like I see like my friends or like when I was studying the, the, the master degree my friends they go directly they want to publish in the in the in the journal but they don't know what are the rules and instruction instructions of the journal itself so download the instructions for the authors from the chosen journal and from a high impact factor journal in the same لازم تعرف التوجيهات اللي اللي يريدوها الجورنال. So the structure of the of the paper, شلون ترتيب البيبر لازم مالتك يكون اكو اكو جورنالات ما تقبل تكتب الكتابه كباراجراف واحد او يعني تسويها سايد واحد لازم تسويها سايدين. Especially for clinical journals, okay, or engineering journals. Layout ترتيب abstract where it should be. The introduction is, is there gonna be a literature review or not so is it, is it gonna be emerged inside the introduction so first you have to download the instructions to know what what are the standard instructions of the journal structure of the sections which is the same structure of the paper some people uh, sorry some journals they it's okay for them to use a passive voice rather than active voice some journals like uh, they don't they don't want to like to to want you to use your passive voice in your uh, journals also it depends on the speciality that you are in بعض الدول تسمح منها نيوزيلندا تسمح باستخدام اي او وي so you can use the personal style here in the middle east as i know in europe in usa you can't use the uh, the personal style even in asia you can't use the personal style which is which is not that acceptable so and also you should know the the citation that the journal wants from you to to do your citation uh, mla uh, apa wherever it so how to arrange your bibliography which is the better citation use of keywords in keywords uh, colleagues it's really important because you're searching about like to to get a research to support your research from the Google uh, scholar wherever mainly depend on keywords so guys if you want like to publish in, in in a high impact factor journal depend on the keywords don't choose the keywords randomly 
you have to choose the keywords really fit with the, uh, with your research okay so American and British spelling some some journals they want American spelling some other they want a British spelling like the like the case with the ER whatever you know the spelling of the American and British things so read and analyze your literature review so that uh, and not how they are structured why I, I say that you should read the, the papers uh, from, the, from the journal because you will know from the published research what are the phrases, what are the literature review they used, what are the way they organize uh, the, uh, their literature review. So I remember when I published my research when I was in the master's degree 2016, I went to the journal, I read as many as much as possible of the research in this journal to get the idea so you have to focus in, uh, in the literature review the problem how they address the problem so background information are relevant references how they organize it elements that validate the level of innovation uh, of the research in, in your research it should be their innovation either way an impact factor scopus it gonna be it, it cannot be accepted so this is the thing they want innovative things they want a well organized uh, and clear uh, problem statement so this is the thing that uh, they focus in on in publishing research conceptual model methodology or per, uh, perceive that take the, uh, the research into consideration also materials equipment software okay the, you, you need to focus on this we, we are going to also talk about the uh, software uh, uh, also they focus on the results and how the results uh, like uh, uh, took from the research implications for further research this one is also important why because they want you should have in your research uh, it's advisable to have in your research implication for further research you should open a futuristic door okay for your research to get to continue the uh, the journey so they also they they welcome this okay identify what the editor is looking for read as i mentioned earlier read as many papers as you can from your chosen journal I remember a professor who was in the university he said to me if you want to write a or write a thesis you write a million and you write a million and you write a million at least if you want to publish your research if you want to write your dissertation or thesis you have to read at least two three research a day reading the research or the uh, it's not just reading you have to take notes you have to understand the structure how, it, how it's uh, structured okay so notice how and you have to uh, answer the questions you have to like to answer these questions okay so how does the author begin how does the author begin what points does he make in each section how does the, he link paragraphs together? So, من تباوع للبحث اللي تقرأ من الجورنال لا تباوع لفقط أفكار شلون مرتبة وشلون البروبلم والمشكلة مطروقة لا انتبه على الكلمات اللي تستخدم اللي مستخدمها انتبه على الربط انتبه على الستركتشر لأن ستركتشر البارغراف اللي بالبحث هو نفس الستركتشر البارغراف تقريبا يعني الترتيب نفس اللي موجود بالأكاديميك إسي يبدي توبك سنتنس you have a complex uh, uh, sentence so you have to focus on, on all these things how does he or she connect the result with the discussion this is the one of the also uh, like uh, important points you have to focus in on واحدة من الأشياء المهمة اللي لازم تنتبه لها وأنا واجهت هيك مشكلة 
انه شلون تربط الريزلتس مالتك بالدسكشن؟ اغلب الباحثين الريزلتس يعيدها بالدسكشن او يعيد الليترشر ريفيو بالدسكشن وهذا خطا. الدسكشن هي انه مقارنه نتائج سابقه من بحوث سابقه ويا نتائجك. فالدسكشن هي قسم مو تروح تجيب الليترشر شكو الليترشر ريفيو وتخليه بالبحث. لا النتائج تقارنها فقط ويا النتائج مالتك وتطلع بفكره معينه. How does he present the conclusion? The, some people say the conclusion is the easiest part of the research. So you have to answer these questions when, while you are reading the research. Guys, uh, I think in Iraq we are not using really technology apps, softwares, <coughs> sorry, in our uh, writing a research journey. There are different softwares that we can use uh, uh, through our like writing research journey. We can use LaTeX. I don't use LaTeX, but LaTeX is a program or website that is a program that will give you the work. SPSS. SPSS, this is for quantitative research. هذا للكوانتيتيف ريسيرش اذا عندك كويستيونير هوايه بعض الاصدقاء اللي كانوا عندي يدرسون مانجمنت المانجمنت دو يو نو هاو ماتش او هاو ماني كويستيونيرز ذي وونت تو جيت ذي وونت تو جيت لايك اباوت ثاوزندز اوف كويستيونيرز ان اوردر تو فينيش ذير ريسيرش اللي يدرسون اداره انه Uh, يحتاج لهم بدراستهم بالماجستير او البي اتش دي يحتاج لهم ما يقارب الالاف الكويستشنير يوزعوها على شركات حتى uh, يحصل نتيجه. Uh, نرحب بالدكتور مثنى نعيم uh, معنا. شكرا جزيلا. اهلا وسهلا دكتور مثنى حياك الله. حياك الله بارك الله فيك. طبعا شكرا نرحب بجميع الاساتذه اللي uh, موجودين بالبث. Uh, so you are very well to be here. And I'm honored to present this in front of you. But imagine and you have a lot of questionnaires. How do you get the result? It's very difficult to make it handy. So by your hand, it's very difficult to make it. So there is a, 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 a program, SPSS. صراحة هذا البرنامج هو مو سهل يراد لتدريب. أنا أخذت ورشة عليه ولكن صراحة صعب يعني it's very difficult. This app is difficult, kind of difficult. لأن يتعلم مثل الأكسل. تقريبا مثل الاكس حتى يطلع لك النتيجه. So it's really uh, helpful. Turnitin, we are well known with Turnitin for plagiarism. Plagiarism شغله كلش مهمه لازم نركز عليها. Uh, I think plagiarism is one of the things that we need to focus on, take care of, and I'm putting it in consideration. So Turnitin one of these. And also تقدرون اكو free apps you can use it for uh, plagiarism. بس كفاءة الفري البرامج التجريبي او الفري ما تقدر تستخدمها لبلاجاريزم النتيجه اللي طلعت اياها مو, مو كلش قويه وصحيحه. اوكسفورد ديكشنري اوف انجلش مريم ويبستر اللي يكتبون البحوث بالانجليزي يو كان ممكن مختصاصك لغه انجليزيه فتقدر يو كان يوز اوكسفورد ديكشنري اوف انجلش مريم ويبستر. Another advice I heard from experts professors نصيحة سمعتها من بعض البروفيسور uh, professors outside. So write your research in English حتى لو انت اختصاصك غير اختصاص الافضل انه تكتب بحثك في باللغة الانجليزية لانه راح تو... انه تكون عندك فرصة uh, تنشر البحث uh, مجلة uh, راقي. You can use mainly and not حتى ترتب الرفرنسات مالتك mainly and not one of the best Apps, software, you can use them. I used EndNote. Science Hub. هسا شاركة وياكم الموقع. Science Hub موقع تقدر تنزل أكثر البحوث اللي موجودة بالمجلات العالمية free. إذا البحث سعره 40 يورو بالمجلة Science Direct wherever تقدر تنزله free. هذا الموقع كذا خستاني. So you can download it free. I I will share it with you. Other tips may you need to focus in on give many presentation to colleagues. من تكتب بحثك أعرف إنه 
سرقة الأفكار وكذا موجودة هاي ولكن موجودة everywhere it's everywhere بس الأفضل إنه شارك بحثك ويا ناس نشروا بحث قبلك أو دكتور بروفيسور عند الخبرة وروح ناقش ويا البحث مالتك لأن أنت من تكتب بحث فكرتك بس هي اللي ماشية بدماغك وأخطائك ممكن من النادر شوفه so you need to focus to share your uh, research with others for each section think about how you can highlight your key findings من تخلص البحث مالتك كل section introduction المقدمة واحد ناقشها literature review واحد ناقشها uh, uh, methodology واحد ناقشها لازم تناقشها حتى تعرف Always. استاذ سامر دكتور احمد حبيبي عيني. بس عفوا الوقت الوقت شوي يمضي اذا امكن يعني راح احاول استعجل صراحه اتس بوكي توبيك يعني هذا التوبيك مال خلصه وان برزنتيشن از فيري ديفيكولت ات نيدز ا كورس ذيس وان ريفريز ات انجلش ليفل لازم تشيك الانجليزي مالتك الكتابه اولسو يو هاف تو تشيك ات وذ ذا اكسبيرتس رايت دايركتلي ان انجلش اكتب جوجل بالانجليزي لا تكتب عربي وتنقل انجليزي اتس فيري لايك اتس نوت اكسبتبل لان راح تصير مشاكل بنقل الفكره وما راح تنقل الفكره نفسها ان فايند ويز تو امبروف يور رايتنج سكيل كونسلت اون لاين ريسورسز اكو هواي اون لاين اذا توقع عن مشكله اكو هواي اون لاين ريسورسز يقدر يساعدوك على قلبي قلبي واحد واحد بدي اسوي ويحكون وبدك يضيفون ويروحون يطلعون يجون يطلعون يجون والله العظيم ما شفت ترى ما شفت ما شفت الاتصال ده ده حتى مسوي ميت على نفسي يعني اوكي يستوي والله الحمد لله اشكر هسه وصلنا لمرحله ممتازه الحمد لله سو رايت اللي حكيناه قبل شويه هو بلاننج تحضير فقط مو أك... يعني مو داخل ريلي بالاكاديميك رايتنج او بالكتابه الاكاديميه ناو وي هاف تو تيك سام رايتنج سكيلز ان انجلش لازم تركز يو هاف تو فوكس Uh, the structure of the sentence is going to be subject, verb, direct object, indirect object. Why? Because this gives a full meaning of your sentence. So, and also you have to focus in choosing the subject. حتى تختار ال 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 الفاعل أو اللي يبتدي الجملة لازم يكون مؤثر. الكلمة اللي ت تختارها بالبداية لازم تكون مؤثرة. تؤدي إلى معلومة جديدة. الجمل مالتك لا تحاول تخليها روتينيه روتينيك سنتنسز لانه هذا الروتين الاكزامينر من يجي يقيم البحث مالتك راح يوقع راح يودي بالحال انه ريجكشن سو so, حاول تختار سبجكت بالجمل اللي تكتبها بالباراجراف تعطي معلومه جديده لا تحاول تعيد السبجكت الفاعل تشوز ذا سبجكت That leads to the most criticized sentences. لازم تختار subject يؤدي أو فاعل يؤدي إلى جملة criticized. يعني مو جملة بها معلومات هواية. For example, this quote, this example: the most significant values are highlighted in Table One. Table One highlights the most significant values. The مثال الثاني هو الأفضل. ليش؟ لأن التيبل 1 محدد يعني تعطيك سبجكت أو معلومة دقيقة بس المثال الأول the most significant values can you consider can you tell me what are the values I am the examiner for example I don't understand what are what are the values you are uh, like uh, uh, focusing on شنو الفاليوز اللي أنت مركز عليها هنا So you have to focus the subject that leads to most criticized sentence. It adds to a simple sentence. Put the subject before the verb, which is this is in English. لازم the subject قبل الفعل. Don't use the pronoun it they. لا تستخدم ال ال الضمائر it to they حتى تبدل هذا الشيء it with they. استخدم the modal verb. This may lead. أفضل من تقول it leads. Okay. So don't make The impersonal it with the subject of the sentence. Let us take them it with the subject of the sentence. مثلا جملة. It is probably that this is due to poor performance. The subject هنا it. The أفضل حتى يطي معنى أوضح. This may might could be due to poor performance. هذا الجملة هذا النوع الجمل يطي معنى reflects or reflection. More uh, like they're gonna be more strong than the uh, 
personal uh, pronoun it or impersonal pronoun it uh, mr brahim so well, i stopped till here like waiting the questions continue okay well, i'm going to unmute all of them but uh, uh, رجاء رجاء هدوء هدوء رجاء حتى يكون الصوت واضح رجاء دكتور حسن تسمعني دكتور حسن ايضا رئيس قسم الترجمة رجاء دقيقة على يد رجاء اقطع الكلام من لديه اسئلة فليطرحها رجاء من لديه سؤال رجعنا عزنا بالحضور هذا عند السؤال أنا أعتقد قد عن بعيدة شكرا جزيلا سيد عبير أرف سيد عبير ما هو سؤالك سيد عبير وأستاذ وليد رافعين أياديهم بالشات السلام عليكم عليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته صباح الخير شكرا لكم وشكرا للدكتور محمد يعني بصراحة سبجكت رائع جدا يعني the significance of the writing يعني كده مكرايتين Okay, I mean, I want to ask you something. I mean, what about the one in the paper or in journals? The ability to use the phrase in the same universities, I mean, for example, in Manchester, to use the academic phrase. هل لو استخدمتهم من أنواع هذه في المجلات يقبلوا يعني زي النصيغ يعني هم أو سينتيسيس فهل أنا نقدم يعني حننشر في مجلة بصراحة أنا أنا بيتش دي كانديدت يعني قاعدة ما زال ما أهاف ماس قاعدة يعني بصراحة قاعدة لم أجرب النشر بعد يعني في المجلات فهل لو أنا استخدم Let me tell you because the time is going to finish. So let me tell you a thing. Uh, the first thing, the academic writing is the same everywhere. But the, the instructions of the journal itself, it, it, like it changed, okay? So for your academic writing, what are you going to do? Try to publish in journals. So, رد للسؤال حتى يكون واضح. Academic writing here is everywhere. نفس الشيء. It's it's the same. But for you to publish, try to publish in a in a journal which is not that high standard, not that really high impact factor. Journal بسيطة. استخدمي هاي ال الأشياء اللي انشرحت. للتواصل اكثر راح اكتب الايميل مالتي حتى اذا اقدر الحق جيميل الو لان الوقت اسمعي استاذ احمد فكتبت الايميل اللي يريد يتواصل لان الوقت راح ينتهي فالاكاديمي كرايتنج نفسها حاولي تنشر بمجلات بسيطه واصعدي شويه شويه بالرتم حاولي تقرين هوايه القراءه من جورنالز عاليه هي اللي تطور المهاره مالتك بالرايتنج وليس قراءه كتب تخص الاكاديمي كرايتنج